Good morning, your brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawa. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their Creator and Guide, you may restore what you have created, and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Kohelet reminds us that possessions and worldly endeavors alone do not guarantee happiness. This emptiness in human existence prepares us for God who alone can fulfill our desires. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says Koheleth. Vanity of vanities, all things are vanity. Here is one who has labored with wisdom and knowledge and skill. And yet, to another, who has not labored over it, he must leave property. This also is vanity and a great misfortune. For what profit comes to a man from all the toil and anxiety of heart with which he has labored under the sun? All his days, sorrow and grief is his companion. Even at his night, his mind is not at rest. This also is vanity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Paul encourages us to set our hearts on higher wheels. The true sense of life is not bound to this world alone. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. Put to death then the parts of you that are earthly, immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and the greed that is idolatry. Stop lying to one another since you have taken off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed for knowledge in the image of its creator. Here there is not Greek and do, circumcision and uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stay. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. And with your spirit. To Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share in the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed you or appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do? For I do not have space to store my harvest. And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods. And I shall say to myself, Now as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool! This night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus will it be for all who store up treasure for themselves, but are not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Saan niya ba patutungo ang lahat ng ating pinaghirapan? Sino ba ang makikinabang nito? Sapagkat alam natin na ang buhay ay walang katiyakan. Buhay na buhay tayo sa araw na ito. Ngunit hindi natin alam kung ano ang mangyayari bukas makalawa o sa susunod na buwan o taon. Isa lamang ang ating natitiyak na tayo'y mahal ng Panginoon. At dahil tayo'y mahal ng Diyos at dahil tayo'y mahalaga para sa Kaniya, gagawin niya ang lahat upang maging mabuti ang ating patutunguhan. Kaya nga walang sawang paaalala ang ginagawa ng ating Panginoong Diyos para sa atin nang sa ganun ay maaari nating baguhin ang ating buhay. Maaari tayong magbagong buhay mula sa ating pagkakasala nang sa ganun ang sinasabi ng ating Ibanghelyo na sanay mayaman tayo sa mga bagay tungkol sa kaharian ng Diyos upang tayo'y maging kabilang sa Kanyang kaharian sa langit. Ang tagpo sa ating nabasang Ibanghelyo ay napakaganda upang ating pagnilayan sapagkat lahat naman tayo aminin natin, tayo nagsusumikap para magkaroon ng magandang buhay. 
walang masama doon. Lahat tayo ay nagpapakahirap. Pinapaaral ang ating mga anak. Nagkakandara pa sa paghanap ng magandang trabaho. Nag-iipon para sa ating kinabukasan o sa kinabukasan ng mga anak. Walang masama doon. Ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon na walang silbi ay kung ang lahat ng mga mabubuting bagay na ating tinatamasa ngayon ay siya naging Diyos ng ating buhay at nakalimutan na nating magmahal at gumawa ng kabutihan sa ating kapwa. Kung ang lahat ng material na bagay na ipinagkaloob sa atin ay naging sanhi upang tayo ay naging sakim, naging maramot, naging mapaglamang sa kapwa. Ito yung sinasabi ng ating Panginoong, dito lamang tayo mayaman sa ibabaw ng mundo, ngunit tayo'y pulubi pagdating sa karian ng Diyos, sapagkat hindi natin ginagawa ang tunay na dahilan the true purpose of the grace given to us. Kaya nga tingnan natin ngayon ang ating sarili. Tanungin natin ang ating sarili. Ano bang mayroon tayo na hindi natin iniling sa Panginoon? Ano bang mayroon tayo na hindi natin sinamahan ng luha at katakot-takot na dasal para ipagkaloob sa atin ang Panginoong Diyos? Lahat ng iyan ay ipinagkaloob ng Diyos dahil siya ay umaasa na sa pamamagitan ng lahat ng ito, tayo ay maging mabuting tao at maging mabuti para sa iba. Di ba yun naman ang sinasabi ng Panginoon, mahalin mo ang Diyos, higit sa lahat, at mahalin mo ang iyong kapwa tulad ng pagmamahal mo sa iyong sarili. Kaya nga sinasabing, treat others not because they are bad, but treat them because you are good yourself. Kung gaano kakabuti sa iyong sarili, ganun din ang pagtrato mo sa iyong kapwa. Yan ang nakabatay sa kagustuhan ng ating Panginoon. Ang material na bagay ay hindi nadadala pagdating ng araw. Kaya nga palagi nating nakikita sa social media, sa ating Facebook. Mahirap o mayaman. Pareho lang kalaki ang hukay na ating pupuntahan. 3 by 6 by 6. Di naman natin madadala ng lahat ng yan. Ngunit ang sinasabi ng Panginoon, mag-ipon kayo ng grasya para sa kaharian ng Diyos. At kung dito pa lamang sa lupa ay naging mabuti na tayong tao, Naging mabuting magulang, naging mabuting anak, naging mabuting kapitbahay, naging mabuting leader sa ating komunidad. Dito pa lamang ay sinisigurado na ng Panginoon, maganda ang iyong pupuntahan sapagkat sinusunod mo ang aking kagustuhan. Ngunit kung nakikita natin ang isa sa ating mahal sa buhay, na salungat ang ginagawa sa kagustuhan ng Diyos, nawa ay atin ding pagsikapan na mapagsabihan at maibalik sa tamang landas. Huwag tayong maging katulad dito sa parabula, talinhaga, na nabanggit sa ating Ibanghelyo. Ang sinabi ng Panginoong Yesus, baliw, hangal, aanhin mo ang lahat ng iyan sapagkat mamayang gabi, ay babawiin ko na ang lahat na ipinagkaloob ko sa iyo, kalakip ang iyong buhay. At kawawa ang bawat isa sa atin. 
kung hindi tayo nag-ipon para sa kaharian ng Diyos. Sapagkat tayo'y nasilaw sa material na bagay at ang ating pinag-ipunan ay hanggang dito lamang sa ibabaw ng mundo. Alalahanin natin, maliwanag ang sinasabi sa ating Ibanghelyo. Hindi ito ang ating iharap sa Panginoong Diyos pagdating ng araw. Hindi kung ilang degree meron tayo. Hindi kung ilang mansyon mayroon tayo. Hindi kung ilang ektaryang lupa ang ating nabili. Hindi kung ilang kotse ang mayroon tayo. Kundi ang tatanungin lamang ng Panginoon, tayo ba ay nagmahal sa kapwa? Tayo ba ay gumawa ng kabutihan? Tayo ba ay naging mabuting magulang? Tayo ba ay naging mabuting anak? Tayo ba ay naging mabuting leader sa ating komunidad? Kung ang lahat ng ito ay check, pasok tayo sa kaharian ng Diyos. Kaya't mapalad tayo, mahal tayo ng Panginoon. Paulit-ulit tayong pinaalalahanan. Mga mahal kong anak, sabi ng Panginoon, ito ang idapat ninyong gagawin. Huwag kayong magsawang makinig sa mabuting balita. Huwag kayong mapanghinaan ng loob. Huwag kayong mapagod sa paggawa ng kabutihan. Mayroong gantimpalang nag-aantay sa inyo sa kaharian sa langit. Nawa ito palagi nating maalala ng sa ganun, pagsikapan natin na maging mabuting tao upang tayo ay naging mabuti pa rin pagdating ng araw sa kaharian ng Diyos sa langit. We all stand now to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and, and the life of the world to come. Amen. O God, you alone suffice us. We put our trust in your loving kindness and providence. With humility and faith we pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Send more missionaries to your church, O Father to minister to the poor and enrich the world with the values of sharing, brotherhood, and trust in you. We pray. Send to your church, Lord. Touch the hearts of our political leaders and the wealthy among us. May they strive to improve the lots of the poor and those of us who are in the margins so that our country may be spared from the specter of class warfare, we pray. 
Please send to the prayers of your church, Lord. Encourage, O Father, young men and women to heed the call of Christ to serve in the missionary apostolate as priests, brothers, sisters, catechists, or lay leaders, we pray. Please send to the prayer of your church, Lord. May the rich and the satisfied come to recognize the vanity of wealth and power and start to store up for themselves treasures that cannot be stolen, corrupted, nor lost, we pray. Please send to the prayer of your church, Lord. Welcome our departed loved ones, especially those who have served you faithfully, selflessly, and generously, we pray. Please send to the prayer of your church, Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Please send to the prayer of your church, Lord. Father, help us see your kingdom as our greatest treasure and make us joyful sharers of our goods and talents. At the end of our life, may we appear before you rich with the things of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, Make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You forbend in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. To rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim.
is He. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death, saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with His Holy Spirit, may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May He make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Dominic de Guzman and St. Francis of Assisi, and with all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. 
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This is the Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, that in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his kind mercy. Amen. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. 
Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessing for the prayer of the sick and also a blessing for our religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawang so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 